You're watching Vancouver TV, where we show you what's happening in your city. We've got the latest movie reviews and access to your favorite celebs. From fashion to red carpets, live shows, and more, we cover it all, keeping you informed about your city and in the know about upcoming events. Crazy old lizard. Good morning, Mr. Moon. I got Judith from the bank on line two. Actually, I'm gonna have to call her back. My theater's been going through some pretty rough times. So, what do I do? A car wash? <laughs> no. My next show is gonna be, drum roll please, a singing competition. Who wants to see another one of those? Everyone! Your neighbor, the, the, the grocery store manager, that, that, that chicken, right there! Real talent from real life. That's what audiences want, and I'm gonna give it to them! Do you ever feel, feel so paper thin? I'm mommy! <laughs> Norman, would you please tell them what a good singer I am? Oh yeah, you were great, honey. By the way, the bathroom sink is blocked again. Bye, honey! <sighs> In your mind, could you ever be really close to me? <gasps> Why are oh, you holding right there? Oh, oh. Johnny, you were supposed to be keeping a lookout. Sorry, Dad. Happy birthday to you. If I had a voice like Mina's, I'd be a superstar by now. Just singing, ooh, yeah, I I'm sure you would, ooh, Grandpa. Yeah. Now blow out your candles. <laughs> How are we doing with those flyers, Miss Crawley? Oh, good to go. Oh, 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 oh. This will be the biggest hit show this city has ever seen. Everyone gets a shot at being a star live on my stage. I'm here to win. That prize, it's mine. Rah, rah. You're really funny looking. That's all right, cause I get things cooking. Stay with me. Wow! Run like the wind. Yeah! Oh my gosh, look at her butt. Oh my gosh, look at her. Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? This is it, folks. You better be ready to work harder than you've ever worked in your lives. Yes, that was very bad. You've got to show the vile desire. The fire went out a long time ago. You are not going to believe what I did today. Dad, I don't want to be in your game. I want to be a singer. How did I end up with a son like you? You just got it at night. This show is not going to save your theater. Maybe it's time to move on. You know how much this means to us. Just on the night. This state is about to explode with major piggy power. Cause baby, you're a fire. You are. Come on, let your colors burst. I got go. You know what's great about hitting rock bottom? There's only one way left to go, and that's up. To win tickets to see this movie and other fun movie price packs, visit www.vancouvertelevision.ca. Hi, I'm Ashley Davidson with Vancouver Television. Today we are here at Circle Craft, located at the Vancouver Convention Center. This year at Circle Craft, we have over 311 exhibitors of handmade craft items. Let's go check it out. We're just with Rossanne here at Circle Craft. How's your day going? It's great. How's yours? Really good. We're happy to be here. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the event? 
Uh, yeah, so what we are is we're a craft market. We have 311 exhibitors. Those 311 artisans this year. Wow, and so they're all over, so it's not local, they're just from all over. There's a lot of local people. I'd say maybe 35% is local, but we have people from Toronto and Montreal and Halifax. And how long does this fair run? This fair runs for five days. So we're over on Sunday, which is tomorrow, at uh, 5 p.m. And is it every year? It is, yeah. This is its 43rd annual market. Oh, wow. So 43 years, which is a very, very long time for Vancouver. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. And um, I see a lot of Christmas stuff. Is it more Christmas-based or is there a bunch of other things? It's Christmas-based in aesthetic. So, you know, you get Christmas carols sometimes, not all hours of every day, and you have Christmas lights. But the crafts themselves, the Christmas booths are we probably have about eight Christmas booths dedicated exclusively to Christmas, and the rest is sort of clothing and other fibers and glass and clay, so things that can be used all year round. And is it all like handmade items? or? Yes, everything in this market is handmade and made in this country locally. So. Oh, neat. We're excited to check it out. Do you have a favorite booth? I have so many favorite booths, but... There's a few booths that I've been like really eyeing this year. One is uh, Strathcona Stockings, and they're in the budding artist section, which is a section we have exclusively for new exhibitors, first time people. And Riley makes these crazy pattern socks. So she uses collage, and she uses watercolors, and she just sort of sources from all over. And so she has a silk collection, which is like robes, and she also has uh, these sort of tight sock collections, which I think are fantastic, and not like anything I've seen before. So that's exciting. Another favorite booth of mine is Glass Nose, who does these wax canvas jackets, which are very, very water repellent. My friend bought one, and like she's like, the rainwater is just in my pocket. Like they're so, so water repellent, but they're also incredibly beautiful. Just really, really nice. And you organize this whole event, or yeah, there's a team of us. There's uh, three, three of us most of the year, and then we expand to five core people who who organize this all year. So do you have a passion for handmade things or how did you get involved in this? I have a passion for art and I had no, I, I hadn't really thought about craft as being art for a long time because I think that's sort of, you're sort of indoctrinated with the two being separate and then when I was doing, it, when I was in university I started to take craft history lessons and I realized how rich craft culture is in this country and how much craft is tied to sort of a Canadian identity, which I had no idea because craft is very much about pioneering. Craft is very much about sort of being self-sufficient. And so I fell in love with craft completely. So that's, that's why I'm here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We're excited to look around. Thank you. Thanks very much for having me. Awesome. So we're just with Julie here at Circle Craft. How's your day going? It's going fabulous. I'm so excited. Good. What's your booth called? Majesty Industries. We do travel accessories. Travel accessories. Do you want to show us some of the things you have? Uh, we have some super cute travel wallets. All my wallets are going to fit your passport. We also have a bunch of pouches, things like that. That's really great for in-flight, your suitcase, makeup, things like that. I get this fabric in Korea. It is so exciting. And everything that um, is printed, I silk screen it. So this one's going to hold your checkbook, four passports, um, your money, cash change, lip gloss, all that stuff. So can you use it as a wallet as well? Oh, I use mine for every day. They're yeah. super great for that. Yeah, Good. but... Does it have to be travel? <laughs> no, not at all. And how did you come up with this? Um, I actually went back to school in my 30s, and um, I got a Bachelor of Intercultural Studies. I traveled all throughout Asia teaching English, and then I figured out, I'm like, I need a passport holder. Like, my, it won't fit in my regular wallet, so I tweaked my whole line to fit for, for travelers. Oh. This is so cool. Do you have... I want to see... Can we open it? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Check it out on the inside. So I tuck my passport back here, my bills in here. These hold lots of cards. I stack them. Um, change, lip gloss. I always keep a pen in here for filling out the customs forms too. So yeah, but for every day, cash, receipts, we're good to go. So other than Circle Craft, where can people find you? Actually, this is my first time in Vancouver. My second time is coming up at the Make It Show, December 8, 9, 10, 11 at the p &E here in Vancouver. Amazing. And then um, I was going to say, you have a lot of different um, prints on things, so that's nice for people if you're trying to find like a custom gift or a friend. Well, there's always something for everybody here. Nobody walks away unhappy. Thank you. I know, I'm like, my friend loves owls. I should buy her that. <laughs> Absolutely, you should. Awesome. Thank you so much. Anytime. Thanks. Thank you. you as well. Awesome. So we're just here with Paul at Circle Craft. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. And this is your station today? It is. What is it called? It's called Dazzling Gourmet Gifts, uh, our Bear Hill studio. And what we do is we embellish cutlery and serving ware with wire and beadwork. Did you say dancing? No, dazzling. Oh, dazzling. <laughs> I was like, is that why you were dancing? <laughs> no, that's not. 
Um, cool. So you bedazzle things. We do. Do you want to show us an item? Sure. So an example would be something like our long stir spoon, which we do the wire and the bead embellishment with, and then we do it. Uh, we do it on a various items and some unique things, olive scoops, um, cake testers, all kinds of different odds and ends. And did you create this idea? You know what? I actually, it was an idea a woman created a number of years ago and taught me. And so wow. I, I can't take credit for it all. I've created some of them, but not all of them. But she taught you, so you're allowed. That's right. Exactly. Yes. Cool. Do you have a favorite item you want to show us? So what's nice about this <laughs> replaces the traditional toothpick and it has a magnet on it. So it sticks above your fridge. Oh. Huh? So it just stays there. Yeah. And, and then you poke it. And then you poke it into your cake and, and tell if your cake. It, whoa. To tell if your cake's done. Exactly. Yeah. And it, isn't it if you're it has a, like, You're a baker. Right? Yes. No, I'm not a baker. <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> That's it. Cool. Awesome. And what kinds of stuff do you have here? You have tongs. Yep. We have tongs. We have lots of salad sets, um, serving tongs, pickle forks, pretty much anything you need to serve Some up a meal. People have to come see you. That would be great. Yay. Thank you so much. Can people find you online? or They can find us online at bearhillstudio.ca. Awesome. Thank you very much. OK, Ashley, nice Hi, to meet nice you. Hi. And what's your booth called? Leo LaBelle. Sorry, Leo? LaBelle. LaBelle. Yeah. Awesome. So did you create this line? Or? I did, yes, about two years ago. I went into business full time, yeah. finally. Mm -hmm. And where are you from? Salt Spring. Salt Spring. Cool. Hello. And um, what are your items made out of? They're all leather, and we have a beeswax canvas as well, and all brass hardware. How did you get into this? Uh, well, I inherited a, um, a industrial sewing machine from my mother, and I began playing with leather and experimenting, and it slowly just turned into a small business. So all of your bags are handmade? Yeah. They really look so nice. They, it's like they can't be handmade. No, oh, I think so. They're so perfect. <laughs> Do you have a favorite item you can show us? Right now, I'm really loving the Danica. Uh, it's really good for going out at night, and I'm minimalistic, so I don't really need much. So cute. Yeah. That's something I would wear. Oh my gosh, everything is so adorable. So it looks like you use mo mostly neutral tones? Yeah. Brown and black and, yeah. and goes with everything. Yeah. Yeah. And have you, is this your, how many days are you here the whole time? Yeah. Yeah, it's five days. Is this your first time at an event like that? I've gotten this new exhibitor uh, sticker. Yay, and can people find you online? Or? Yes, I have a website. It's just leolabelle.com. So what's your name? I'm Jill Smith. Jill Smith. I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And this is your booth here today? This is my booth at Circle Craft, yeah. And what are we selling? We're selling pure Canadian beeswax candles. Pure Hand Canadian. Yes. Woo. Woo. Uh, handmade. Uh, tapers are all hand-dipped. The molds we either make ourselves or we have them made for us by a ceramic artist that's also here in the show. He lives on Bowen Island. Cool. And um, age old craft with a little bit of a new twist. And you have different um, pieces here. Do you want to show us them? Yeah, yeah sure. A skull there. Yeah, we've got a skull. Happy thing for Day of the Dead or your living room, whatever. Halloween. Makes you happy, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hand dipped tapers. Uh, mason jar candle made off of a vintage old canning jar that I scammed from my old boss. Do you want to show us? Yeah. It says made in Canada along the bottom because yeah. that's what we do around here. We make things in Canada. There you go. I see a lock over there as well. Yeah, this is one of the pieces that was done um, a collaborative project with Russell Hackney who's another artist in the show and as well as these pieces right here up behind you, the vintage bee and the fern cylinder and this one and we call the key to your heart. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And how did you I have a silicone mold and I pour wax into it after I hand wick it. Wow. Yeah. And do you do this out of your home? Out of my garage. I have the best smelling garage on Salt Spring. Oh, I bet you do. We'll have to come see. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Just text first so I clean up. <laughs> yeah, it's probably pretty messy with all the wax. Cool. And do you have a favorite piece? It's the vintage bee without a doubt. This one? Yeah. It's very beautiful. It's a great Christmas gift. Awesome. So we're just with Paul here. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. And you are the show manager? I'm the show manager of Circle Craft Christmas Market. Awesome. So we're just in the budding artist section. Right. So you were saying that's first time? 
These are small kiosk sort of displays that uh, first time exhibitors can try out the show before taking the leap into the very expensive booths that we have here. <laughs> oh, there you go. So we're going to be handing out a prize right now for what? what is it called again? This is the uh, award for excellence in booth display and we hand out for excellence in booth display and excellence in craft. Awesome, so we're just gonna go give someone their prize. So right. we're gonna catch th this on camera and we have a check for them as well? And we have a small check for them and uh, that goes along with this nice nice little plaque that they can put in their, their uh, booth. Nice. Yes, awesome. thank you. Okay, let's go find them. Found you are the one that is the honored recipient this year. Awesome! <laughs> so, thank you so much. Congratulations! Thank you. And here we have a small little thing to go with it. Awesome! Thank you. you so much. What was your name? Uh, it's Neil. Neil. And yours? Alana. Alana. And this is your booth here. It is. Yes. Cool. Do you want to tell us a bit about what you're selling here? Uh, we're selling our wood accessories for men and home accessories. Cool. Yeah. And do you make this all by hand? We do in Vancouver, yeah. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, we were going to a wedding two years ago nowadays, no? Yeah. yeah, yeah, two years ago, and then I wanted to wear a bow tie to the wedding. Couldn't find anything I liked, so I'm a woodworker by trade, I make furniture. Yeah. So uh, we came up with the wood bow tie, and then people wore it to the wedding, people said, we love it, we gotta, you gotta start making them, and then here we are, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah it's super you original. You have to learn to tie it, right? I never do, and I could never, I could never do it, so it was, uh, it was definitely a good alternative. And how do you feel winning an award? It's incredible. Yeah, it's yeah we're very, very, very honored. Yeah. So we kind of just like bombarded you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's awesome. Like, yeah. Whoa, what's happening? I love it. Cool. Well, thank you very much. We'll take a look. What other stuff do you have? You have bows and? Uh, yeah, we sell a, like, a range of uh, men's accessories. So we got the tie clips, money clips, cufflinks, and then our home stuff. Yes. Home stuff as well? Yeah, uh, we got coasters and we got our, uh, our air plant holders. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations to both of you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Each year, yes. we pass out uh, awards for excellence oh, in booth display, and you are the recipient of the silver award this year. I'm so delighted. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now, that's to go in your booth, mm -hmm. and that's to go in your purse. Ooh, what a treat. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you so much. You bet. What was your name? My name is Tanya Love. Tanya Love. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's a good name. You're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> and what is your booth called? Um, Tanya Love. Well, why would you Why would you change it? Exactly. <laughs> and what are you selling? Uh, so basically, I sell textiles that are all hand screen printed with natural dyes. So they're all my designs, and I forge for and collect different dye, dye materials like black walnut, sumac, um, pomegranate, onion skin, and they're all the base for the colors. Oh, wow, so it's all natural. All natural dyes, yeah. Wow, that's so neat. And how did you come up with that idea? Oh, it's been a long process of research. I have a degree in fine arts, so for many years I was looking for ways to um, create images with alternative materials. So it just took time to put together my skills and research and apply to textile. And have you always wanted to do this? Um, pretty much. I've always been making things ever since I was a child. Um, so I, I guess I didn't really think of it as a choice. It was just a natural tendency. Coming from a really creative family, it just kind of made sense. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Do you have a favorite piece you want to show us before we go? Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess um, there are a couple of prints that I really love. Um, so perhaps I'll just show highlight this one. I love this print um, because it's a drawing I did of anemone flowers that I picked in my parents' garden. So it's uh, really fresh and whimsical. I love the scale of this and um, it reminds me of uh, being in the garden and good family time. Memories. Memories, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. And congratulations. So yeah. I'm happy that I could be a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're just with Karina here. And this is your husband's line, you were saying? Or it's a. Uh, yeah, my husband's 
husband is a certified herbalist, so he grows all his own herbs and he makes all his own extracts, uh, steam distillation, uh, glycerin tinctures, alcohol tinctures, hot oil presses, and then he takes all of those ingredients and makes all the products. So everything is handmade, hand packaged, hand labeled. And where in Fraser Valley I see on the side? Yeah, we're in Fraser Valley, we're in South Surrey, we have a, and so everything is um, all organic, all natural, even the, uh, we use a vegetable based preservative. And what is your line called? Royal it's Herbs. called Royal Herbs, yep. Well, and you have soaps and you have creams. Everything. It's a, it's an organic herbal body care, pet care, and household products. So we make everything from uh, our own um, bathroom kitchen cleaner, which is fantastic because it's just spray and wipe. It kills yeah. uh, mildew, mold, grease, everything. And then we also have our own essential oils. We have shampoo, body wash, conditioner. We do gel cleansers, facial cleansers, natural deodorant, natural tooth soap. And then we also have a pet care line. Wow, pet care as well. Yeah, pet care as well. Well, pets have allergies too. They do. Yes. And um, where can people find you? Do you have an online? Yes, we have an online store and the website orders over $75 is free shipping in North America. We also have a calendar on our website and uh, depending on which community you live in, we, we're probably at a farmer's market. Cool. Yes. Thank you very much. You're awesome. Where are you going? Great. What's your name? Stina. Stina, nice to meet you. I'm Ashley. Hi, Ashley. And are you having fun today at Circle Craft? Uh, yes, it's wonderful. It's great. It's my first time here. Yeah, and what were you just trying over here? Oh, we were trying some Belgium chocolate, and Isn't it was that, that delicious. To die for. Oh, very I know. They're so good. Um, did you have a favorite booth today that you were at? Um, they're all my favorite. Other than this one? <laughs> Other than this one, yes. I know I'm, like, scared to buy this chocolate because, I like, yeah, that wouldn't last long. No, it's worth it. Totally worth it. It's to die for, like she said. Did you guys buy some? Yes, we did. We yeah. bought four, two each. Is this your first time at Circle Craft? Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> and you recommend people to come down? Yes, definitely. Yay. Awesome. Nice chatting with you. Thanks. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is Riley O'Byrne. Riley O'Byrne. Nice to meet you. And this is your booth? It is, yeah. What is it called? It's called Strathcona Stockings. Beautiful. Did you come up with that name? I did indeed, yeah. I used to live in Strathcona. Cool. And so are these designs like hand done or? They are. Uh, all the patterns are my artwork. So between watercolor paintings and oil paintings and then we print on 100% silk and then we cut and sew everything at our studio in East End. How did you get into that? Uh, I started about six years uh, making socks, which is where the name comes from, stockings. Yeah. And so we did, I was making like elaborate prints for Can socks and stuff. one over here for us? So uh, our original ones were these classic dress socks. Cool. Yeah. They feel almost like nylon. They are, yeah. They're a trouser stocking, so they're kind of a unisex, uh, up just below the knee sock. Yeah. And then we've uh, started doing sparkle socks. So cute. Thank you. Thank you. What and a beautiful gift. They, I think they are a really good gift. As Danielle says, they're a good stocking stuffer. They are. Pun totally intended. So where can people find you? Uh, they can find us online at our website at strathconastockings.com. Um, and there's a discount code of Canada for 20% off and free shipping. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Yeah. And do you have a favorite piece you want to show us? Um, hmm, I mean, we love the socks for gifts, um, but we've been working now on uh, kimonos and cut and sew silk pieces. So. Um, this is one of our newest How dress pretty. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a again watercolor print. Have you painted this pattern? I did, yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so talented. That's generous, thank you. Oh, stop. <laughs> I know, it's like artists that are really good are usually like, oh my god, no, stop. It's like come on. <laughs> well, this is it looks so perfect. Thank you. Aww. Well thank you very much. And it looks like you have eye pieces. We do, yeah. Actually, these are really fun. Um, we started doing sleeping masks again in 100% silk with organic cotton batting interior. Um, they're all our artworks, and then we sew them all at our studio in East End. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's a nice one. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> did you make your bow as well? I did, yes. Oh a, a silk scarf. Beautiful. Cool. Yeah. So, what do we have here? Some painting? Um, I'm a photographic artist from Vancouver, BC, and the inspiration behind my work is all about environmental preservation. Yeah. Well, I really like this woman there. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, all the kind of pieces, everything kind of has a, a different narrative behind the, the work and my inspirations, but these pieces, typically this collection is my eBay collection, and it kind of 
conveys our internal connection with environments. So these ones are kind of like celebrating the um, kind of aesthetic nature and, and kind of my own expressions of, of how I interact with the environment. And then I have a few more, more emotional ones that are kind of touching upon some more of the um, eco challenges and different kind of kind of environmental things that we're facing and, and kind of my own frustrations. Do you have a favorite piece? Um, that's such a hard question. I, I really, my heart is, is definitely invested in all of them. Um, but uh, this, this piece here, the mountain piece, has definitely been a show favorite. So I, I definitely love it when I, when I hear that kind of feedback from people. Uh, the lady, that's also been a favorite from Vancouverites because it's uh, the uh, image of the Burrard Inlet in her body. Um, but I think right now, I, I really like this one in the top corner. Um, yeah, it, it's actually a, a sweet story. The day that my, my husband um, proposed to me, um, yeah, I captured the snowy tree image from Joffrey Lakes and that was the day that he proposed to me, so I just kind of have my own little sentimental value to that one, so yeah. So beautiful. Have you always wanted to do this? No, um, I had no idea I wanted to be an artist uh, when I graduated and such, so I actually spent seven years traveling um, different countries. I got work visas and I was just kind of floating in the breeze until I figured out what my true calling was and then it just kind of stumbled. I had my, my camera stolen while I was in Paris and a few different things happened and it led me to wanting to pursue a career in photography and then it ended up becoming a career a bit focused on art. So it's been a, a really long road with lots of twists and turns. I've been doing this professionally for eight years and a full-time artist uh, here in Vancouver for five. And where can people find your work? Um, people can find my work online at DesireePatterson.com. I have a studio located here in the west end of Vancouver, so I do studio visits and um, I come and do shows locally in Vancouver. And yeah, and just connect with me and yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for interviewing me. I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank you. No worries at all. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. What's your name? I'm Brittany. Brittany, nice to meet you. I'm Ashley. Um, so you're here just as a customer today, yeah, walking around? with one of my girlfriends, and we're just kind of having a nice little afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Such a nice time, hey? Yeah. Lots of cool things. Yeah. Have you found anything yet? I did. I got a little gift. Can't put it on like anywhere. Oh, yeah. No one you can see this. See no, no. <laughs> Is it a Christmas gift? Yeah. Yeah, for good friends of ours. Oh, cool. And do you have a favorite booth that you've been to? We've only made the corner, so we haven't oh, even got wow, it. So we big. got you. Yeah. We got you. <laughs> We're yeah. like, we want to talk to her. <laughs> yeah. But this, like, I really like this booth. This looks really pretty. Yeah, we have to we have to talk to her next. Yeah. But yeah, there's so many cool artists and yeah, lots of cool stuff. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Yes. I hope your friend likes their gift. I'm sure they will. Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for watching Vancouver Television. Again, I'm Ashley Davidson. We had so much fun at Circle Craft today. Stay tuned for the next episode.